What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart and put back together an Xbox One controller. So for me, the left bumper of mine broke off when I was playing and yeah. So, might as well use the shell to hydro dip or spray paint if you, you can do either or, you can do your own thing, and use it on my actual controller. So... Yeah, let's get into showing you guys how to take it apart. First thing you want, <clears throat> you want um, multiple flathead screwdrivers if you want. Uh, there's just some smaller ones. You want a somewhat or a pretty small flathead screwdriver. That's not focusing, but you want flathead screwdrivers for um, uh, for recommendation. So then. First thing you want to do, you want to take it and you want to flip it upside down and then you want to put your screwdriver to take off this front plate right here and then do the same thing on this side. You want to stick it below your trigger, just like that, and you can lift up and then there's that gap right there. You want to get, until you hear that, that means that the separation came out. Take another flathead screwdriver to hold that in place and turn it the other way around until right here, right here where there isn't as much of a big gap right here. You want to take it and you want to do the same thing, but until, but this time it'll, it'll actually come off just like that. And that might have sounded like it broke, but that's just the pressure from these connection points right here. Oh, you can't see it that well. These connection points right here, on all of them, coming out because they have little, oh man, I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, right there, right here, you got the little hooks on them, so they, they don't break off, but then they come out of it. So then just do the same thing on the other side. On the other side, again, screwdriver in your flathead. So you hear that like that under your trigger and then there you go so now you have two of the sides off that you actually that are part of your controller so the underside will end up looking like this Right here, there will be a label right here in your battery compartment. But you want to take off the um, that sticker because that reveals a fifth screw right here. Well, if you can, yeah, right here, the fifth screw. Because there's going to be a screw right here. Down there. And then there's going to be another one right here. And then the same thing on the other side. Okay, so what you want to do... You have the five screws. You have one, two, three, four, five. Just take those screws out. Try not to strip them if you're going to put the controller, if you're going to put the frame back on this controller after you spray paint it or uh, slash hydro dip it. So just try not to strip the screws. So just put your screwdriver in. And then, yeah, you guys know how to take out the screw, so I'll just skip to when I'm done with this. So, with it, you would actually probably want some needle nose pliers, too, so that you are, so that you do not drop the screw. As you can see, the one's about to come out right here. Just grab it, and do not lose these screws if you're going to put it back together in this controller. You got these little screws. Oh, man, oh, it's not focusing yet. Okay, so you got these super tiny screws that you really really want to save because that's what actually holds to your frame together five little screws so once you are completed with your um with taking out your screws 
which I am not, so I will cut back to you when it's done. Then, well, when you're done, you'll be able to take this top piece off, and then you will actually see the inside uh, receiver to the controller. So I'll be back when I have all the screws up. So, once you have all of your screws out, and you will indeed have five, You can right away just take the front face piece off of this and of the shell. This is what you have for the front. You can hide hydro dip that when you're done. This is the actual receiver of it. These are the um uh, the vibration wheels that actually make your controller shake when you shoot or anything. And then of course your power button. Um, D-pad, joysticks, buttons, and then you can take your joysticks off of these, of the actual sticks itself, right here, this is the actual how they move, and that's of course the same thing for both of them, I'm going to keep the joysticks just in case they break, because you can replace them really easily by just taking the face off, taking this out, and yeah, of course. So when you're done, you can, and also be careful when you're doing it because the uh, vibration wheels will come out. So they won't break unless you cut the wire, but. Just like that, and then you have two separate pieces. This is the receiver. If it's broken, you can't do anything about it. You can pretty much just throw it away. Um, but with this, this is the actual under side of the shell let me move this this is the actual underside of the shell right here so all so with the pieces together sorry about the scene change by the way you got your two grips your right one and your left one right here you got your under shell then you have the top of it I had two dead control done controllers, so just took the shell off of both of them, making two things. So got this. Your joysticks. Right here. And your shell. And there. That's what, that's what you'll end up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is AirPlays, and if you want me to do any more uh, tutorials on this, I don't know how to work a PS4, but I will figure it out if you guys want to want me to show me or show you how to take the shell off of this P PS4 controller so that you are able to make that your own shell for them. So, this is AirPlays, signing out.